Hi guys, and welcome to my very first editing video here on YouTube. Uh, I did a speed editing video or version on my Instagram a few days ago or last week or something, and the feedback I got from you guys was really great, so I thought I would take it one step further and upload to YouTube instead. Uh, yeah, maybe I should take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Anna. I've been an equine photographer for about seven years now. I'm completely self-taught, both with my photography and with my editing, so a little disclaimer just to say that I'm not saying this is how things are supposed to be done, I'm just saying that this is how I like to do things. Um, yeah, let's get started. The um, software I'm working with today is Lightroom. I have Lightroom 5, to be more specific, and I do work mostly um, completely in Lightroom. Sometimes I'll bring a photo into Photoshop to do some extra work or some finishing up, but most of the times I'll just get everything done in Lightroom. Uh, oh yeah, also I'll be using Visco presets in this video and probably most of my upcoming videos too. Um, I'll, I won't get too much into Visco right here but I'm going to leave some information on it in the description below, so you can go check that out if you're curious or if you don't know what Visco is. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Today I'm going to show you my editing process for this photo. This is a picture from a few weeks or maybe a couple months ago. Um, it was a summer evening with a beautiful sunset. And I was taking pictures of my friend and her horse. Uh, you guys seem to love these pictures when I post them. <laughs> I can't blame you because this horse is just beautiful. Uh, yeah, so the light, um, the actual light of that evening was really beautiful, but it didn't really pick up or show up uh, in photos. Uh, it does look a little dull and a little gray, but it was actually re really beautiful. So my whole goal for this edit is just to enhance um, everything and give it a little bit more oomph and make it a bit more vibrant and more true to what was actually experienced on that night on the night when I took this picture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So I've exported the photo into Lightroom and I'm gonna go to Quick Develop and under Saved Preset. I'm gonna pick a visco filter, I guess you can call it. I do have quite a lot to pick between, but I have some like current favorites that I tend to switch between. So I'm gonna try a few out, see what I like. Um, not that one. This one I usually, oh, it's too dark. So what I usually do is I pick a visco filter and then Afterwards, I tweak it and make it look more like closer to my personal preference and more natural looking. Uh, let's try vibrant. It's cool. Portrait. I do like that. I'm going to go with that one and go from there. So after I picked a filter, I'm going to go to develop up here and here's where I do most of the work, usually. So first of all, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to put grain down to zero because that's one thing about Visco um, that's important to remember is that most of the filters have added noise or added grain to them uh, because Visco go is usually going for that uh, vintage 35 millimeter film vibe. Um, so just remember to put the grain down in case you want grain. I mean, that's fine too, but I usually don't. So I'm just going to put that down, go back up, and now I'm going to start tweaking all these settings and these values. I do most of the work up here by tone, so exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. I do some tweaking with clarity and saturation sometimes, and some stuff with the white balance too. 
So first of all, I see that this is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to put the exposure up a little bit just to start with. Then I'm going to see if I can make this a little bit more warmer, actually, in the tone, first of all. Because it's a little bit green, a little bit cold right now. So I'm going to go down to tone, no, color, right here. And find orange. Let's see what happens if I drag that up. That's just the horse, of course. Because he's quite orange. <laughs> um... Okay, no, I'll do it up here. So I'll put yellow up a little bit, not that much. Plus two, and I'll put it a bit more to the purple side, because purple um, actually counteracts the green. As you can see on these sliders, you can see that purple is the opposite of green, and yellow is the opposite of green. So yeah. I'm just going to put that up slightly, a bit more probably. Then I'm going to tweak these values right here. It's really um, hard for me to talk at the same time because I'm, I mean, I've been doing this for years and I'm so used to just like going with it and doing like everything so quickly, but now I have to like stop think about what I'm doing to try to explain it as good as possible. So I'm sorry if I'm distant or quiet or something like that. I hope everything's clear. Um, and you can always like give me tips or like tell me how I can do better in the comments or something. Because this is a learning curve for me too. <laughs> All right. First of all, I feel like I do want to crop this a little bit, so I'm going to go to the crop tool up here and make sure that the little padlock symbol is closed and not open like that. So I close it and that means that it's going to keep the proportions or the aspects and not move freely like, okay, I'm going to show you. If I unclick the padlock, then you can move like this. But if you close it and do it, the whole thing is going to follow. So I'm going to crop this a tiny bit just to get a bit more focus on the horse and rider, like so. Um, let's see, I do want the shadows up a bit because the shadows are a bit dark, so if I, oh, that's too much. <laughs> Something like that. Clarity. Okay, I'm going to show you what clarity does. If you add clarity to like 50, it's going to do that. And if you add it to minus 50, it's going to look all soft. So zero is neutral, and I usually just pump it up a tiny bit, like 5 or 10, just to give it a bit more clarity, <laughs> I guess you can say. Uh, yeah, what else can I do? I'm not really feeling the light or the, the color. I'm gonna try to make it a bit more warm. I need to close some of these because they're annoying me. I guess with the tone curve, nope. I'm not an expert on Lightroom. I've actually just been using Lightroom for like a year or two. Before that, I basically just used Photoshop. So I'm still learning and there's a lot of things that I've never even like, touched in Lightroom. Like I have no idea what some of these things are, but it's fun to learn and I discover new things every single day or at least every time I edit. And I actually really enjoy learning something new. Sorry if you can hear the cars outside. I don't really have a professional microphone to use, so... Yeah, sorry. Okay. I think you can change it here. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I want it that green. I want it a bit more sunset -y. Not that much. Jesus Christ. Um, 
Okay, so I put it down to zero to get the before and then I put it up a bit. Okay, so that works a bit less though. So that's without and that's with. I do like it a bit more warmer, so I'm gonna leave it at, let's say nine. All right, nine. I think I want it a bit brighter still. I'll put this up. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm going to try to enhance the beautiful sunset light that's like creeping through the trees in the background here. You can see the, the light seeping through. I'm going to enhance that with the, what's this called? This is, is this a mask? Brush. Adjustment brush. Alright. <laughs> so I'm going to use this. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make sure the feather is up and the flow is up. Size. Yeah, it's a good size. I'm going to... I'm going to try that. I'm going to start click. And then you can see what that did. It added like a circle of yellow light, <laughs> I guess you can say. Uh, and you can tweak it with all these values or sliders. I kind of like that, but I'm going to put down the flow a little bit to around 60, 70%. I'm going to make it smaller by scrolling. And I'm just going to keep clicking. And as you can see, this just kind of adds some extra light to the picture. And I just really like because that's what I really liked about the place or like the setting where we actually took these pictures was the sunset light seeping through the forest in the background or the trees. I really liked that, but it was really difficult to capture with a camera. So I'm just going to have to, I don't want to say fake it, but enhance it a little bit. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to press enter twice. And that saves the brush adjustment brush settings. So now you can see, see if I can show you before. So this is before, and then I added the brush strokes to look like that. So you can just see that it adds a little bit extra, like extra something to the picture, it makes it more interesting. And this also is a better uh, representation of what I actually saw when taking the picture. Uh, I do see that this is a little bit more, uh, a little bit too warm, I mean. I'm going to put this setting down a bit, like so. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to zoom in and check that everything looks good. Everything does look good. Oh, you can actually see the uh, raindrops in the background when you zoom in. It was raining when we were taking these pictures. I don't think you can really see it. Well, yeah, actually you can see slightly see the raindrops in the background, which is kind of cool. I like that. So I think that's it for now. That didn't take too long. I'm sorry I babbled on. Um, I'm going to show you a before and after. You can do that by pressing this symbol down here, or you can just press Y on your keyboard. And there you go. That's before and after. Just a bit more vibrancy, a bit more contrast, better light, and a truer, more true representation of what it actually looked like, I think. And I was there, so I get to say that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you like this too. Oh, no, sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so that's before and that's after. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me any feedback in the comments or just let me know what I can do better. And I will try to upload a new one in a few days. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.